Hi guys, so I hurt my shoulder a couple weeks ago and it's been hurting a lot lately So I've just been trying to rest up and take care of it And I've been going to see a chiropractor and when I first went he took an x-ray and he saw that I actually have eight bones in my neck and most people and even mammals have seven even giraffes have just seven bones in their neck but for some reason I have eight and apparently there's only something like 0.5% of the population that has eight and my chiropractor was saying to me like yeah you have kind of a long and skinny neck and I was like great thanks that's nice and attractive like <laughs> and then I started thinking about these guys and some cultures find long skinny necks attractive and it made me start thinking about our sort of society's standards of beauty and how weird and different we can see them over time. Some people really value these long skinny necks and other people really like small feet. So there was societies that would like bind their feet and it would actually break bones, but it was because they wanted their feet to be smaller. And now in our society, there's a lot with like breast implants and things like people just altering their bodies. We had those corsets, corsets, corsets. corsets? I don't know, anyways, those things you would like tie to your ribs and break ribs, like it's just like these crazy beauty standards that we live by and it's really so relative to the specific culture that you're in, the specific time period that you're in and it really just made me see how silly it can be that we can literally spend our entire lives striving to have this ideal image of beauty and then in a generation or two it could be completely irrelevant and people could think like why were people attracted to that and i just feel like we really need to value the way that we look as we are because even the people that have this ideal image of beauty like they physically embody that they still have insecurities we all do so there's nothing you can't really get that sense of perfection and even if you do and if you have all this attention because you're so beautiful and people love the way you look like that's great but it's also very superficial and it's like if you're this like beautiful box but there's nothing inside of you it's just this beautiful empty box and i don't know i don't really like boxes like <laughs> i'd rather people value what's inside my box <laughs> Maybe I should have chosen a better analogy. <laughs> Let's all value the insides of each other's boxes. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'd rather take myself less seriously and just kind of joke about, you know, if there's something I, I don't like or feel insecure about in my body, like I'm not gonna sit there and cry about it every day. Like it's something that I need to love myself no matter what I look like and so do you and I love you no matter what you look like. I can't even see you. I'm literally looking at a camera right now and I'm still imagining all these beautiful people that look completely different looking at me and I absolutely love you regardless of how you look and I hope that you can say that to yourself too.